and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a simple slide and text effect. There are many ways to do it but we're going to use the way that I think is the easiest and fastest. So we're going to use the cropping effect but first let's create a background, right click, new item like video. You can change the size up here, I'll take 90, 20 times 1080 and I put it into my timeline. You can resize that but for this effect 5 seconds is enough as a duration. Now I activate the type tool right here, click on the preview window and type in some text. We can adjust this text, for example resize it right here, or we can click on the graphics layout and then use the edit function that should pop up right here on the right hand side and essential graphics. Centering it is a good idea. Or we can also use a different font, different style, give it a different color. Let me just pick something. Make sure that you recenter it when you use a new font and then switch back to the editing layout. We're done here. Let's add a cropping effect. So type it in your effects menu, then drag and drop it on the text element. And in effect controls, we now got it. Here's the text. And here's the cropping. If you can't see these windows, go to Window, Effect Controls and Effects. Just click on them. So the cropping, we're going to adjust it now. At first, just click on crop so that you can see this bounding box and then adjust the left and right hand side. Let's say 30%. It depends obviously on the size of your word. In this case, maybe I've cut the word a little bit with it. So let me go down. 28% should be fine. But you don't necessarily have to make it that close to the word. So I could also go to 25. Let me activate the bounding box and you can see that again. So I've got a little bit of space now in between the box and the cropping. And it's generally a good idea to have this bounding box active and then adjusting the numbers. So 28 is totally fine for me. The next step is to create our animation with the position, but be careful. There are lots of positions right here, for example, for vector motion. But we don't want to adjust the entire element. We just want to adjust the word. So let me close this drop down and I'll find the text, open the drop down. And there you should find the transform. If it's not open, open that drop down as well. And there is a position. And this is only for the text. Let me reposition the time marker a little bit. And now I drag the word to the left and the cropping makes it invisible. Now I start the animation. I go a little bit to the right. And now I drag the word back into the center position so that it's fully visible. And now we've got this simple slide in animation. If you don't like the timing, you can readjust the distance between the two keyframes. For example, make it slower by making the gap wider or make it faster by putting them closer together. It's a good idea to select them, right click, temporal interpolation and ease it in. If you want to slide it out, the process is basically the same. And let us go to starting position, create a keyframe, then go forward a little bit and then drag the position out of the frame so the cropping helps, in this case to the right side. A new keyframe should be created automatically. Once again, select it all, right click, temporal interpolation and this time ease it out. And now it slides in. Now let me open this drop down and you can see the interpolation right here. So by easing it in and out, We've got a little bit of an acceleration effect and it makes it look smoother. And this is how you can create this simple slide in text effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.